Hey guys, welcome back to the Fortified Castle. Bonjour, Privet, Guten Tag, Ola, and child of my foreign friends. I've got a pretty good foreign uh, uh, audience, and I really appreciate them. You can see today we're going to be talking about this uh, case here. It is uh, three inches. It is a four-blade um, Congress pattern, and this is a uh, case's vault knife for 2023 and um i love that red uh shield on there i've been wanting to get a case knife with a red shield and um i buy these knives uh, these newer model case knives to try to acquire patterns that that i can't find or can't pick up uh, on the secondary market and um, this is just a beautiful knife I also want to tell you this knife is uh, almost perfect. The only thing wrong with this knife is if you look at the uh, tangs, they're they're not cleaned up, and that's kind of normal for most knives today, including GEC knives. But everything else on this knife is perfect. There are no gaps on this knife. The blades don't uh, blades don't rub or anything like that. Um, I don't know why, but I really looked at this knife uh, close, and I want to show you some uh, interesting things about it. Okay, so this knife is a Model 68. If you look in this book, the Model 68 is a three and a quarter inch uh, Congress knife, two blade. So that's kind of interesting. Because this is a Model 68, and it has four blades, and it's three inches. And so, um, that was kind of interesting to me. And if you look here, this is a three and a half inch Congress. This is a Model 52 that uh, Case made. And the reason I show you that is they also made it in four blades. So this is a Model 52 in four blades. And the knife I have is a four-bladed knife. And so as far as I know, Case did not make a Model 68 in four blades. And this is smaller than what the uh, Model 68 was. So that's pretty interesting to me. Um, so the, the pattern, it's supposed to be a vault pattern. You would think it would be exactly like, um, the original model. And that's why I buy these knives. So this brings a question up in my mind. I'm wondering if all these knives that I'm getting are not exact models. I've never really thought to, uh, look at them, but let's look at the knife a little closer and can see it's really good man i'll tell you what the the um the edge bevel on these blades are just really good look at that really good it's some of the best work i've ever seen out of a case knife and i bought a knife uh last year a 2022 it was a um muskrat and that knife was uh, perfect, too. So maybe Case has turned the corner here and slowed down a little bit. And maybe they're just producing knives uh, a little better and charging a little more. And I don't really have a problem with that. So, you know, if they charge a little bit more, but the knives are made the way they're supposed to be made, I'm, I'm all for that. Um... I've been saying that for a long time, that they, they should just slow down, uh, make the knife a little better the way they should, and if they need to charge a little bit more, then charge a little bit more for the knife. So you can see all the edges are good on this knife. Even the uh, transitions are better than normally on the case. They're still a little rounded on here, but not as bad as as a lot of them are. So if you don't know, uh, these blades come off an assembly line and are um, medium polished, meaning they use some type of medium, like nuts or corn, 
to polish the blades. It does it quickly, and it does a pretty good job on them, but it tends to round off the edges on them. And you can see that, um, that on a lot of their knives. But on this one, it's not bad, you know. So maybe they're taping them. I don't know. But um, that rounding is just not bad. But the transitions are perfect. Um, they're really good transitions on here. See that? And so um, this is a really good knife. You know, nothing wrong with this case knife. It is almost perfect. If they had cleaned up the uh, top squares, I'd say this is a perfect knife. But, um, you know, most manufacturers aren't doing that anymore. And it just is what it is. We're just stuck with it. So I uh, hope you enjoyed the video. Pretty cool knife. Uh, this is a case vault knife for 2023. You can find them in two or four blade, I think. And... Um, I paid retail $70 for this. That's a lot of money for a pen knife. But, um, you know, it's a really good knife, so I don't mind. I don't mind that. All right. Uh, hope you enjoyed the video. Hope you found it informative. If you liked it, like it. And if you'd like to see more content like this, go ahead and subscribe. Because, you know, you're just not going to get the volume of accurate uh factual information from anybody else because i'm just awesome with knife backs and uh yeah i'm kidding guys <laughs> all right have a great day and thanks so much for watching the video